Well, longtime Emmett resident and Hawthorne Elementary School teacher Dr. Kelly Taylor will be featured on Saturday's national TV episode of Mission Unstoppable, hosted by singer and actress Miranda Cosgrove. The series highlights groundbreaking women in the STEM field with the goal of creating role models for young girls. Now, joining us now to explain more is Dr. Taylor herself. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, of course, the, the question that's on everybody's mind right now, how are you selected to appear on Mission on, in Mission Unstoppable? Well, I started participating in the Emphasis Pathfinders Institutes a few years ago. And last year they did this uh, event where they highlighted different teachers that had participated in the program. Uh, so I was very honored to be chosen for that. And then this year to con continue showcasing STEM and what teachers do in the classroom, uh, they reached out to those that had been highlighted asking if we would be interested. Well, my curiosity got the best of me. And of course I had to say yes. And it's been a whirlwind ever since. So that's, yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> and such, such important things that you're, you're uh, teaching. Now, what exactly, what learnings were you able to take back to your own classroom from your participation in the Infosys Foundation Pathfinders Institute? Well, I participated in the Junior Bot Ball Robotics, and actually, uh, it's still open. You can still sign up to take institute um, sessions uh, for the summer. So um, I've done mostly robotics while I was in my sessions, and uh, actually, we have a competition coming up tomorrow in Emmett. Uh, it's at Emmett Middle School, and uh, schools around the state are going to be joining. So we're really excited for that, to take that and show what we've learned through the help of Infosys and Actually, the Idaho STEM Action Center, they brought this program to Idaho, and I've been able to continue my learning through the Infosys Pathfinders Institute. So it's all a great thing, but they also have online resources on the Infosys Pathfinders website where um, I can learn things beyond what I actually took my sessions in. So paper circuits, other coding activities, and they have things that are directly useful for our students. And of course, it's all free. So that's one of our educators' favorite words. Uh, so accessible to everyone to use. Gotcha. All right. Great stuff. Now, <laughs> I've, talked to, I've talked to a lot of people about um, STEM courses being offered in, in high school and, of course, in college and whatnot. But why would you say STEM education is important for elementary school students? Right. And we all know the value of STEM, right? With the workforce increasingly STEM related, uh, no matter what we're doing. Uh, so we, we see that value. Uh, but what I see at the elementary level, the importance is building that STEM identity. So students see it as something they can pursue. And beyond that, they're interested in pursuing. So I love that I can try and hook students on STEM and where they may not have thought of themselves as a coder or a programmer or a maker, all of those things are possible by doing these hands-on project-based learning pieces in the classroom. Yeah, get them learning young. So what yes. are some of your favorite student projects, would you say? You know, that's a hard question to ask. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have to say I love a variety of projects. And, you know, I do space education, so rocketry. We do robotics. We do other coding projects. Uh, we do pr uh, paper circuits. But, um, you know, it's just an amazing opportunity. The more we can bring in, the more chances we are of hooking students that maybe have different interests and different passions. So, but I have to say, if you ask me the most exciting one right now, um, I'm working with the group in the community to bring Pico balloons to uh, Idaho educators. And so we're actually going to be launching a Pico balloon on May 5th. And that's something that we can track once it launches and it'll travel at about 27,000 feet altitude. And we can, we, we tested one and it went from Idaho all the way across the U.S. and uh, to Alabama. And then we picked it up again on the west coast of Africa. And it, we saw it through parts of that. And then we last saw it over Japan. And we're kind of waiting to see if it shows up again. But if it doesn't, we have this launch on May 5th that we're very excited about here at Hawthorne. Awesome. Great stuff there. All right, Dr. Taylor, we are out of time. So thank oh, you for joining us <laughs> today. Dr. <laughs> Kelly Taylor was my guest. And you can check her out Saturday on uh, Mission Unstoppable. We'll be right back.